So the first wine for 2018 limited series delayed in glass. That makes a ton of sense. Anyway, thank you for coming and watching the show, the Wine of the Month Club here. So Ed, what do you what? Uh, when did you start getting the business? Uh, where did you, you start? <laughs> He doesn't need us for this. He can entertain himself. You know, it's like the six-year-old playing with his toys in the living room on Christmas morning. <laughs> oh, God. You know, this year we didn't buy uh, gifts for everybody. Just you know, My kids had enough. Yeah, no, <coughs> we, we don't, don't do gifts. We're done. We're, we're done. done with we're that. Done. We, don't have, we don't need anything. Despite the fact I'm here, I, we, I was telling Sandra, you know, we really, for the last well, 31 years we've been married, plus my part of the life I live with dad and mom at the liquor store, we never had Christmas. We were always working. I mean, I'll never forget my dad, you know, closing the wine shop at, you know, 10 o'clock on Christmas Eve because he wanted to sell our last carton of cigarettes <laughs> and a bottle of Jack Daniels. And it's like, you know, that's what we used to do. So it's, it's uh, And we do it because we want to make everybody have a nice Christmas with the wines they serve and our customers are satisfied with their stuff. So this is, you know, this guy, I don't understand this. It's called delayed in glass because he bottles it and he sits on it. So this is the current vintage of the Syrah, which is a 13. 2013. And, and you know how it. much I like Syrah, right? Yes. I mean, it has. A, I don't like that animal hair smell and taste, and you know, and and some of the earthiness that is not good earth. It's like dirt. This is out of this world. This is not that absolutely way. out of this world. One of the best Syrahs I've ever tasted. He. It almost tastes like it's got Grenache in it. Yeah, it's got it's this got bright little, this cherry fruit in right. it. Right. You know, a lot that, of brightness. This, a lot of yeah, fruit. there's some earthiness to it, but it's clean earth, not. Dirt. I just couldn't figure out this philosophy. And the other five wines I tasted of this, three of them were just not that good, and two of them were great. One of them was the one we featured last month, mm -hmm. and this one. And you know, he was a little. He was just one of those winemakers that's just like, this is my my business, and I got into the business because I want to be an artist, and and he's done a good job at the wines, but it just. No, it's, it, it really is a spectacular bottle of wine, and at twenty five bucks, it's a steal. I mean, that is really, really a steal. Fifteen ninety nine is. It's a, Santa Barbara County. Too. Santa Barbara County. Well, they're they're doing they're they're doing great things with um, with everything now. And it's vineyard designated. It's a White Hawk Vineyards. Yeah, White Hawk Vineyards, uh, very 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 respected uh, Syrah Vineyard, as a matter of fact, and for good reason. So I'm giving it a ninety eight. I think it's out of this. I'm ninety seven. I think it's really good. What do you really think? But you know the the, the thing that. That right in the middle is a blueberry punch. It's like beautiful. Bam. No, it's just, it's really, really a beautiful bottle of wine. Mm. So, there you have it. Don't forget. Wow. Delayed you know in the, glass. And the finish is like a mile long, right? Yeah. Okay, so this was the one we poured the other day. And I have, again, this happens a lot. I forget. Antonio Mas. I know I buy them because I like them and I want to feature them. And then we come in a couple months later, and all of a sudden I was like, wow, this is really good. This is a wonderful aged mm -hmm. uh, Tupangato Mendoza uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. And I say aged because it's a 15, but don't forget they're six months ahead of us, so it's actually longer than that. Yeah. Must be important, Ed. Uh, it wasn't. So, you know, the Cabernets are very directional in Argentina as well mm. as Chile. And this one, with its age and its softness, is not. It's it'd be hard pressed to say wow. that it's Argentinian. Absolutely. Man, I would guess Sonoma. Mm -hmm. Because it's got it's got both softness, but it's got it's got body and it's got structure. And look, spice. At, look at the legs on that on yeah. that glass. That glass is good. You know, it's going to take 20 minutes for all that wine to come down. <laughs> it's got a spice component that I really like. Beautiful, beautiful bottle of wine. It's um, twenty nine ninety five on the shelf and fifteen ninety nine. Fifteen ninety nine is an unbelievable price for that. That's really spectacular bottle of wine. Now it's the first time I've seen a single vineyard on a Argentinian wine too. Well, I'm, it's about time because let's it. face it, they have they, they have a very diverse growing area there in in Mendoza. And you know, Mendoza is a pretty big area. I mean, they, they, you know, the wines from the north That's are huge. different than the wines from the south. Way different. You know, and 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 they're just they're lovely. They're absolutely. The north lovely. of Mendoza is like one of the highest growing regions in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like two miles up or something. But this is a totally different wine. But yeah. this is a wonderful age, wonderful component, wonderful spice, wonderful complexity. I'm at a 98. I'm, I'm a 98 I, too. I, I think it's just amazing. We're just throwing 98s out like they're, you know, going Yeah, to like the sun. they're 98s. <laughs> <clears throat> wow. Now, too fun. As if we didn't have enough white wine to drink. The Brewberry. I love this. Grenache. Right, I just taste it again. It's, it's a 14, which suggests. What is it? Is it basically a, a south of France? White Grenache. Mm -hmm. And Maccabeo. 
Yeah. Spanish. The Spanish. Yeah. I think this is one of the best <coughs> white wines we've done. Well, the age Grenache did Blanc really well. It's just amazing. Absolutely the complexity amazing. of the two grapes did really well. You know, if, if Grenache Blanc and Verdeo, those two grapes, they are just unbelievable. From and they, the nose to the palate, it's mm-hmm. just a fun thing. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. Boy, it sure tastes like what it is, man. Wow. It just tastes like Macabeo and, Macabre- and, and then Grenache the, Blanc. The age is perfect. Yeah. The acid softened, and you get this wonderful fruit character, and you get both grapes. Man, twenty four ninety nine on the shelf, thirteen ninety nine reorder. Not to be confused with Burberry. I'm at a ninety eight, man. I'm, I just, I'm I just too. I love this wine. This you know, this goes back, folks, to the the idea that you know we got to stop. No, not stop. We don't. We don't need to drink oaked up Chardonnay all the time or grassy grapefruit Sauvignon Blanc. There's so many other things to taste, and this is a classic example. It of really is an amazing. interesting wine that is departing from the stuff that we're used to seeing on the shelves. That's why I bought, that's why I bought it. Well, you ought to look at a different shelf then. Yeah, well, we're going to stay. We have new, sh- new stores open. Oh. Mm. Lovely, lovely wine. That's what you call dead air, folks. Uh, well, I, and now you got a dead glass. <laughs> wow, death is all over the place here, well, isn't it? I'm glad, that, I'm glad this happened. Yeah. Um, I'm glad this happened because that shows you the titanium crystal glasses we use here at Wine of the I can't wait to taste this wine. Cheval Blanc. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the, the gal that sells us, her name is Camille Tissot. Tissot? She's Camille Tissot? a wonderful French, young French girl who came to America to sell wine. And she's, uh, she's great. And so I had to buy this from her. I love the wine. You know you couldn't do this in California if you get sued. It's Cheval Blanc. And she goes, what do you think of the name? I'm like, well, <laughs> it's kind of hard to... But there's Domaine du Cheval Blanc, mm-hmm. which is mm. kind of interesting. Domaine of the Cheval Blanc. No, it's Domaine de Cheval Blanc. It's not Cheval Blanc, okay? It's a white wine. You know, that's that's the big secret in Sideways, is is the, the wine that, that he coveted yes. through the whole movie uh, and finally had with the hamburger in the diner was called was Cheval Blanc. You know what the majority of the grapes in that wine are? Merlot. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's the whole thing, right? The whole sideways thing. Mm-hmm. Merlot, blah, 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 blah. But some of the best wines in the world are made. Just this is this is an absolutely fabulous bottle of wine. <laughs> I, think I it's love great. white wine. Are you really are you sure you're telling me that's Domaine du Cheval? Yeah, Domaine du Cheval. That's the name. That you Look Blanc. it up on the website. And it's they're Blanc. They also make a Rouge. They, but, they, how do they get away with it? Well, they, it's, it's France. You know you know how many Chateau Le Tours there are in Chateau Le Fites? There's tons of them, you know? But there's only, it's like somebody coming out and saying, I'm going to call my my wine Robert Mondavi. Yeah, Robert. <laughs> or, Stag, or Stag's Leap. Well, actually, there are two Stag's Leaps, but that's another story. So this is, uh, is it Semillon in there? Yes. It it's it's actually it's actually a, a 40% Semillon and 40% Sauvignon Blanc and 20% Muscadel, oh, which you don't normally see. You don't see, see that very often. Yeah. Like, I taste the Semillon. Oh, yeah, that little fig component in there. Yes. Yeah. So yesterday I got a, a, a Napa wine yesterday, 100% Semillon. Mm-hmm. When was the last time I saw one of those? It's not a grape by itself that does well. It's just a little too fat. It doesn't really. Have yeah, it, it doesn't. It needs the acidity. That's why they blend it with Sauvignon Blanc, which has got great acidity. Wow, this is so fun. It's beautiful wine. It's really, really pretty. Twenty four ninety nine. White Bordeaux is very, very expensive because there's very little of it. Less, I think, less than ten percent of the of the wine that comes out of Bordeaux is white. Okay. As a matter of fact, there's more Sauterne dessert wine than there is white wine coming out of Bordeaux. Ninety seven. Yeah, me too. Ninety seven. Thirteen ninety nine a shelf. The other bizarre yeah. wine I had yesterday at tasting was a, listen to this, Gigonda Rosé. Oh, that's not, yeah, that's not that out of line. That's the only, but, but probably you know, the see, second one I've tasted. Yeah, I just probably, well, I, it would be my first, but I've seen them. I mean, it's kind of like this is the most aggressive red wine you get from the south of France, and then they make a rosé out of it. It was 100% Syrah, too. I, 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 and it was just as aggressive, like, it compared 100% to... 100% Syrah? Yeah. Now, that's really bizarre, because you would think it would be Grenache, more Vedra, you know, Cinso, but... Anyway, boys and girls, that's our show for the limited series for January 2018. They just keep coming, and he's gone, finally.